Hey you all. It's another day with Ms. Web 3.0. We will teach you full text search. We have an amazing arena to do just that. We have a web shop made in React. You have access to that source code to download. And by getting it up and running on your machine, it will be the most efficient way to learn full text search technology. Since it is a complete app you will have the chance to learn other technologies as well. To make a full text search we use CSS, styled components, use effect hook, and many more technologies. There is a film like this one, on CSS, styled components, and there is basically a film on each of the technologies that make up this web shop. Enough about that. Let's dig into full text search technology. In this app we use Firestore as database. In Firestore we have the products for the store. Now we want a full text search. Google and Firebase recommend using a third party to build a full text search. I tried one of them, Algolia. With Algolia you need to transfer your records to the Algolia cloud. Then the search will execute on those records and a result will be presented to your users. Each search costs money. For me this is not what I was looking for. I do tutorials for beginners. I would prefer if the records can stay in Firestore and I would like the search to be free. I found a way. I study the documentation on how full text search works. Basically a search text is entered by the user, then a database is searched to find the search text. And where the search text is found, points are given. Then the results with the most points will be presented on top in the search result. In this example I chose to make it even simpler. I just search the database for the search text, and if I find the search text, I chose to add the record to the result, and I limit the number of results to 5. Just to keep it simple. If we have a look at the search modal, we see that there is an input tag and a on change event. When the input text is entered by the user, this event is triggered, and the set search text func JavaScript is run. This JavaScript sets the search text variable. When this variable changes, a use effect hook is triggered. JavaScript code is executed, and the index of function will find if the search text is in the product name record in the Firestore collection of documents called products. Each hit is added to a search array. When we have 5 hits we stop and transfer the resulting array to a variable search result list. We have another use effect hook which will trigger when the search result list changes. This use effect hook will set the show modal search result bar to true if there is a search result to show. In the return block we see that we have a style component result box which will inject the search result list if show modal search result bar is true. That's it. Not complex at all. And we get a full text search up and running with ease. How can we get a product card which is styled? It's an example of reuse, where we use the same code as the product listing. The component is called product. In the use effect hook we call this component, and we get JSX in return, and we push that to the search array. Very nice solution. Oops. I told you that the search is executed to find hits in a Firestore database. This is not the case. The search is done in an array with the product records. I fill this array with records from the Firestore database as the user signs into the web shop. I don't want there to be database calls all the time, if I have many users. This is why I use the product record to hold the product data. In Firebase Firestore you pay for the activity in the database. This is why I minimize the number of calls. How do you get this source code up and running? With the download you get the source code and a PDF with installation instructions. By following the instructions step by step, 10 steps, you will set up the database and everything needed. There is also an add mock products button to create dummy products in the database. Never mind, all this is in the installation instruction. In the next video we will give you a tutorial on use effect hook. We will focus on this important hook in a web shop context. It will be a free tutorial. Click subscribe below to not miss this tutorial. Thank you.